Oh my gosh, guys, that is evil e waste room himself. We need to go, scientists. We need to get out of here right now. Go, 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 go. Because, you know, last time, well, uh, we saw him. He basically tried to kill us. And honestly, I'm not ready for that right now, guys. We're trying to save death, Steven. This is not what I had on mind. Evil e waste room is on to us, guys. He's actually found where we are. We just need to get out of here super fast. You reckon we can get out of the corrupt dimension? I don't know. We just need to run right now. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna get out of here? I don't wait. How are we gonna get out of here, scientists? I I I actually have no idea. Um, um, wait, wait. Hold up. Every single being we've seen inside this cave was fake. They were spirits. They were trying to scare us. Wait a minute. Could that perhaps not be the real Eva EY stream? And instead, could that be a trick to try and stop us from seeing what is hiding behind him? I think so, guys. All right, we're gonna have to be brave. We're gonna have to head back there. Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another episode of our scary survival series. And guys, if you remember, in the last episode, we discovered these corrupt caves. And when we came through them, we saw different spirits, different beings. We saw Testy, we saw Test Subject 3, we saw Corrupt Steve, and then we saw the corrupted version of you scientists, guys. And we thought they were real. Like, they were honestly freaking me out. But every time we got near them, they just they just vanished, like, into thin air. It was so strange. Like, I don't even know. It was so weird. But then when I thought about it, guys, you know, if they were just there and every time we got near them, they vanished, perhaps they were guarding something. Perhaps they were put there to scare us from going down and exploring these corrupt caves. Perhaps there is something hiding here that is so important that either Evil Ui Stream or Hades put these spirits here to guard these caves. But then, when we were walking down to you guys, we saw Evil Ui Stream, and I honestly freaked out. I was so scared. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Evil Ui Stream. And I didn't think he was a spirit at the time because, well, if he was the one who put these spirits here, then that could have been the real him. However, when we got here and I tried to break out, what was strange about all of this is that Evil Ui Stream didn't follow us. And normally, at least the only other time we've encountered him, he's been very persistent on following us and making sure we do not live. And that's when it clicked, guys. Perhaps Evil Ewy Stream was also put there as a spirit. Perhaps he's not real. It's, he's a fake Evil Ewy Stream. And when we walk up to him, like all the other spirits, he should disappear. I'm going to... So that's, that's what we're going to do, guys. In today's video, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go right up to Evil Ewy Stream's face like this. I'm going to look right in his eyes. And he's going to vanish for me. And we're going to walk right past him, guys. And find out what these corrupt caves are truly hiding. So, guys, if you are looking forward to today's video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like down below. We're going for 3,000 likes. I'm going to mute my mic real quick. I've just muted it, guys, because here's the thing. I know I'm, I know I'm talking a big game. I'm talking brave, but I'm saying that Evil Ewa's from his spirit. But what if he's not? Maybe he was just didn't want to chase us this time. He wanted us to come back to him. And in that case... Both myself and the scientists could die and be returned to the normal world and with no way to get back here and no way to uncover what's truly hiding behind here, guys. So I'm going to need the best of luck. I'm going to unmute my mic. I'm going to need the best of luck, guys. Leave a like down below. 3,000 likes. Of course, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead, slap that subscribe button and the bell icon to ling ding ding so you never miss an episode of this series. You always know what's going on. And of course, guys, if you've never seen an episode of this series, you have no idea who this woman next to me is, why I'm so freaked out, or what these corrupt caves are. You should probably watch the previous episodes in the series, and you can do that by hitting the line in the top left or right hand corner, or by hitting the link in the description below, guys. But without further ado, it's time to head back there. It's time to go down here. Oh. Evil Leo I stream, I'm coming for you. That's smart. Get the matter gem out. I'll get mine out. And that way, in case it's actually the real evil I stream, we can defend ourselves. All right, let's head down there, guys. Back through. I remember coming through here the first time, guys. This is where Test Subject 3 appeared. Do you reckon he'll appear again? Is that how this system... No, it doesn't work like that. I don't know what that means, guys. If he's not appearing here now, that kind of confirms my theory that these are, these are spirits designed to keep us out of these caves. Designed either by Hades or be by Evil EY Stream. Now, last time, Corrupt Steve was here? And look, he's no spirit is appearing here anymore, guys. So, everything we saw last episode was fake. It wasn't real. It was all a trick. And more and more, I'm thinking we were supposed to be kept out of here. Because look, guys, I didn't notice this last episode. But this place has been clearly inhabited, I don't know, by village members or other players or other entities. Because look, 
We've got actual torches here behind iron bars. Someone had to craft these fences here. We've, there's been mine supports put in. So people have been here and there is something here. The question is what? All right, let's keep heading down to you guys. This is where the, sci the corrupted scientist was last time. And once again, you can see people have built supports here. There's something hiding back here that I'm not supposed to find. Something that Hades doesn't want me to find. Is there anything down here? There's nothing down there. All right, right back around this corner was where evil EY stream was. Yep, get the matter gem out because it could be the real one in that case. Just fight, we're going to take him on. I don't know what will happen, but my strategy right now, I think, okay, I have a plan. With all the other spirits, we ran straight up to them and the minute we got close to them, they vanished. Like as if they were scared of us or something. They were tricks, they were fakes. So we're gonna run around that corner and if he's still there, I'm just gonna run straight for him. I'm just gonna run, I'm gonna close my eyes and run straight at him. All right, guys, here we go. Oh my gosh, okay, deep breath. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, here we go. There he is, close my eyes, run at him, run at him, run at him, run at him. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. It was, it was a trick, it was, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It was a trick, scientist. That was a fake evil EY stream to stop us from coming down here. Oh, thank goodness. He's just vanished, guys. That was a fake all along. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! Oh, I'm so, so much happier knowing that that was not real. Because honestly, he freaked me out so much when we saw him. Guys, this calls for a celebration dance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Wait, do you guys... What's that behind me? Wait, what is behind me? Oh. My. Gosh. Is that Test Steve? Are you seeing that scientist? Is that Test Steve? No way! That's Test Steve! Guys, it's Test Steve! We can rescue him! Yo, we need to get him. He's inside the cage. Alright, get some blocks out. We're building towards him right now. Go, 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 go. Alright, we gotta build. Wait. Wait. What? Test Steve! Hello? He's not. Test Steve, I can't build to you. Scientist, I. Wait, what? Is this fake as well? Is this a fake thing as well? I don't know. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think is what's going on. I can't build. Wait, can I even destroy? Look, I can't destroy things either. And there's a giant end portal here as well. The same one in the village. What does that mean? I don't know what any of this means, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. This giant end portal here. The same as the village. I don't understand. But there's Testive. We need to rescue him, guys. We need to get to him. But I don't know how. I can't build. I cannot build to you, Testive. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear me or understand me, but I can't get to you. I'm sorry. I would rescue you if I could. Guys, we need to figure out a way to get to him. If I can't build, there's got to be another way. Do you, scientist, is there any, do you see? Wait, what are you pointing at? Wait, what does this say? Bridge extension? And there's like a, a block here. Bridge extension. Bridge extension. So there is a way to extend this bridge to get to him. And I mean, there has to be. I mean, how else would have either Hades or evil EY stream trapped him in there in the first place? There has to be a way to get across to him. But it has something to do with this bridge extension. I just don't know what. Maybe, I don't know. Let's have a look around this cave for a bit. I will be back, Testive. I promise we will come back. But let's have a look around and see whether we can find anything that might help us to extend this bridge. There's like this little door here. What does this go to? What's in here? Rations will be provided if you don't try to escape. Smiley face. You may only sleep three hours? Your bed is in the vault? Three hours? Who is this for? If a player named EY Stream comes, kill him. Watch post. Was this some sort of... Guys, I think this was some sort of like guarding post. There was some guard here. Like, some guard has been placed here, guys, to watch over Test Steve and stop me, EY Stream, from coming here and his orders were to kill me? If this is the watch post, is there anything in this chest? I can't open the chest, but if this was the watch post and there was supposed to be a guard here, then where's the guard? This doesn't make any sense. Where is the guard? I mean, rations will be provided if you don't try to escape. Maybe he escaped? If you don't try to escape, does that mean the guard was trapped down here? And did he escape? I mean, if I was him, I'd be trying to escape. You may only sleep three hours. Your bed is in the vault. 
And all he has to do is stand here for all the other hours of the day and just... And his job was to guard me from... I'm assuming to stop me from rescuing Testy. But then where's the guard now? And if the guard is somewhere else in these caves, maybe we could find him. And I mean, there's no way he wants to be here. Maybe we could bargain with him and try and get him to... Because he would know how the bridge works, right? Right, scientist? We could maybe convince him to extend the bridge for us if we somehow, like, said we'd get him free or something. Maybe we can find him. Perhaps he's somewhere else in these caves, guys. Wait, down there, scientist? What's down there? All right, I'm getting the matter gems out. What's down here? All right, we've got to be careful. There's lava. Yo, wait. What's that over there? Wait, are you seeing that, scientist? Yo, what is that? All right, we're going to have to jump across the lava. Here we go. Jump. Oh, okay. And jump. There we go. What is this, guys? Yo. What is this? There's like some sort of, like, giant vault here. Wait. Didn't the sign back there say that the bed was in the vault? Maybe the guard is behind the vault there. Can I get through? Wait. Wait. Hold up. I can't destroy this, scientist. I can't destroy this vault either. Look at this. It's the same as the bridge. I cannot destroy the vault. Dang it. But if the guards of if the guard's bed is behind the vault perhaps he's perhaps he's behind there now maybe he's doing his three hours of sleeping at the moment we need a way to get through that vault guys if we can get through the vault then we can talk to the guard convince him to help us extend the bridge and we can rescue test steve what's this though does this have something to do with the vault manual overdrive wait manual override only use if an error occurs. And there are like... These like... I don't know what are, what are these even are. Like knobs? And then all this like weird ass redstone? This is actually reminding me of the village lab guys back in the normal world. This reminds me of your lab scientist. Could this be... We've got redstone coming out here. And it's like connected into here which is connected to the vault. Could this be... Some sort of code to open the vault, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Have you seen this system before, scientist? Yes? Is it... Am I... Is it a code? But I don't know what the code is. Should we hit the manual override? Perhaps? Maybe... Maybe if I hit that lever, it'll open the vault, guys. And we won't need a code. That could be a possibility, but it says only use if an error occurs, but... Then again, I mean, what other options do we have? All right, guys, I don't know what's going to happen. Are you ready? In three, two, one, hit the lever, go. Did anything happen? The vault's not opening. The, the light went green, though. Did anything happen? I'm so confused. Nothing happened, guys. The vault did not open. Can I? Oh, maybe I can break the vault. I still can't break the vault, guys. Can't break through the vault. The light went green, so the manual override must have worked. But it seems we still need a code to get through and past the vault. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the manual override had. Maybe that overrode. Maybe that overrode the bridge extension. Maybe the bridge works. Wait, wait. We got to get back there and check. All right, and jump, and jump. All right, let's get up here. Maybe the bridge is overridden. Ah, no. The bridge, ex the bridge is still broken, and we still can't get to test Steve. Dang it. Did it... Did anything change? Did anything change in here? Everything seems the same. The manual override literally did nothing. But literally nothing. Can I... Maybe I can... Can I build across here? I still can't build across... Scientist, do you have any idea? Wait. Yes? What are you looking at? Wait. Is that... Wait, what does that say? Error protocol 2. And guys, it's like the knobs over at the machine, but this one is in a different position. Wait. This wasn't here before, was it? I didn't see this before. When we walked in, this is the entrance. I like looked here and I did not notice that at all. Did the manual override make this appear? Maybe the manual override has... This says error protocol 2, which means there has to be 1, 2, 3, and there were, wait, there were 4 knobs down there, right? Wait, wait, we gotta head back down there and confirm. 
There were four knobs down here. Look at this. One, two, three, four. And so by hitting this lever, guys, I think what we've done is made the code appear in other places that would be like, kind of like how when you forget your password to a computer, it gives you hints, and those must be hints to show what the code is, just in case perhaps the guard forgot the code to get into the vault. But that was error protocol two, which means there has to be one, three, and four. And I'm assuming we need one first before we can use two. I don't know for sure. Is that how the system works? I mean, you've seen these before, right? We need one first, yeah? Yes. All right. So if, if, that, if number two appeared there, then number one has to have appeared somewhere else, guys. And the only way we're going to find that is by looking around. Do you think? I don't know. There's like stuff down there. We're just going to have to look around these caves, guys. Let's check down here. Oh my gosh. I'm in the lava. Get out. Get out of the lava. Quick. Get the water. Okay. I'm just going to have my water ready to go. Okay. Yo. Down there. There's an error protocol. Error protocol. I can't read what it says from here. Hold up. Okay. We're just going to destroy this block and we'll come through here. What does that say? Error protocol three? So we've got three and two, but we need one. And guys, this knob is in a different position as well. So that must confirm that this is definitely some sort of code system that we need to use in order to break through the vault. But where is one? I don't know. Let's... Where else haven't we explored? Okay. I want to make sure I get this jump right. Come on. No! Oh my gosh, guys. You know, that is way smarter. I should have just done that from the spot. Just cover the whole thing in water. Why did I not do that from the start? I don't really know. That would have been way smarter. Wouldn't it have been scientists? That is, um... Yep. Guys, I've got 10 out of 10 IQ right here. Where else haven't we explored? There's nothing... Is there anything up there? There's nothing, there's nothing in here. I wonder, do you think we could climb up those vines? There could be something up here. I don't know. Wait, let's head up here. There's like a cave system up here. Maybe there's some other stuff. Maybe there's some clues up here. Maybe, maybe we could find error protocol one. All right, wait, we're going to come up here, guys. All right, we've got to be very careful of the lava right now. Okay, and up, up, and uh, I don't think there's anything up here, honestly. Wait, there's a sign there. There might be something up here. Wait, what does that say? Wait, 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 wait. let me get up. Oh, I can't get up. Hold up, we need to get a block. And bang, and we'll place a torch up. Error protocol one. We found it. Error protocol one. Yo. So, are we supposed to reposition the knobs down there to match these? Is that how this works, scientist? So that is one turn to the right, guys. And that's for error protocol one. So we need to head down there. Let's see whether this works. I don't know. Will that open it up for us? All right, let's come down here, guys. All right. If I turn it one to the right, will this work? Yo, did you hear that, scientist? I think that means we did it right. Did the vault... Can we get through the vault now? Nope. We still can't get through, but... Maybe if we use error protocol two, three, and four, and... If we input the exact right code, guys, that'll open up the vault for us. And where was it? Error Protocol 2 was like back up the top, I think. Let's head up here, guys. Let's have a look. Wait, wait. I think Error Protocol 2 was the one behind the vines here. Error Protocol 2. And it's it's one this way. The little, like, the sharp point of the knob is facing one to the left. So we need to position it there. All right, guys. I think we're onto something. I think we might be able to break through into the vault. Yes, guys. All right, all right. So this is number two, and it needs to be one facing in that direction. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> There's a sound again, guys. We must be doing it right. Yes. All right. So we've got the first two error protocols in. Now we need to put the third one in. And the third one was down here from memory somewhere. There it is, guys. All right. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay. So it's facing it down in the bottom left-hand corner. All right. Coolio. Let's jump back at you guys. We could actually... I feel like a master code breaker right now, guys. I'm literally like, I feel like I'm hacking the system. This actually feels really cool. All right, so it was in the bottom left-hand corner. So when you go one, two, three, four, five. There's the sound again. Okay, we've done it. We've got the first three input. Now we just need the final code. The question is, is where is it? Where haven't we looked just yet, guys? Is it hiding down here? Maybe it's up here. Is there anything? There's nothing up here. Hmm. Where? Okay. We're going to have to backtrack our steps, guys. We've looked up there. We've looked. Is there anything hiding? Hiding in here? 
There's nothing hiding in there, guys. And we know Error Protocol 3 was down there. What about up here? Is there anything? Maybe, maybe it's hidden inside this room? No. There's nothing in here either, guys. And nothing out here. Hmm. No. Maybe it's... Do you think it could be back there where we came from? Maybe it's over at the tomb, guys. All right, we just got to keep our eyes peeled. I got to look in every direction. Have a look, scientist. Let me know if you see anything. Is there anything? I don't see any item frames with like knobs in them up here. Or, oh, maybe behind the vines here? Nope. Oh, it's just a light. We're looking for error protocol four, I believe. Another light, maybe over here. I don't know. This place looks pretty dark and there's nothing. There's no like, like everywhere else there are like these lights here, but. There's no lights down here, so I don't think it's down there. Are you trying to show me something, scientist? Yes? Wait. Yo! There's an item frame! Wait! How did I not notice this before? Oh, that's right. Of course I didn't notice this before. These didn't appear until we hit the override switch. Yo! Error protocol 4! We've got it! We got it! But Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's lava down there. I did not see that. Yo! That was very close. Holy moly. Okay. Error protocol 4, that's the last one! We got him, boys! We should be able to get through the vault and see the guard. Alright, first off, I'm getting my matter gem out. And, I don't know. I don't really have anything to bargain with him except saying that we can set him free. Do you think that'll work? Hopefully. Alright, so this is facing in the right direction here, guys. Let's head this, let's go back and put in the final code to open up the vault, guys, and potentially see... The guard himself. Now, I, his orders were to kill me, but considering it seems like he was trapped down here, and, well, he's only getting three hours of sleep, if we convince him that we can break him out, then perhaps he'd be happy to extend the bridge for us, and then we can save Testeve and get Testeve out of here as well. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready? The final code in three, two, one, one, two, go. Did anything happen with the vault? The sound went off. Yo! Something's changing! It's pushing in! The vault opened! We did it! Wow! Okay, get the swords out. The guard could be in here. Is he... I don't see him. Is he behind the iron bars? I don't think so. There's a skull here, though. What does that mean? Wait. If the guard's not in here, but there's a... Are you thinking what I could... Wait. Rations. There's only poisonous potatoes and rotten flesh left. He had no food left. If there's no rations and there's a skull... Oh no. I don't think the guard made it, guys. Oh no, I'm... I want to say I'm sorry, but there's no point saying sorry now. The guard is, um... Well... Not with us anymore, but... If he's not with us, then how in the world are we going to try and extend that bridge? How are we going to save Death, Steve? <sighs> I don't know how to do this. Is there anything else hiding behind here? Is there any way, perhaps, maybe an instruction booklet that Hades left? The mine, the, the, the guard that could help us extend the bridge? There's only food in there. It looks like he was trying to cook some... That must have been what he's surviving on with no rations. I think what he was trying to do was cook the poisonous potatoes to try and like get rid of all the bacteria like you know when you boil stuff like it gets rid of like all the germs maybe he was trying to boil the poisonous potatoes to make them into normal potatoes so we could eat but i don't think clearly that didn't work oh wow is there anything in the, there's like a sunrise that's nice maybe that reminded him of home is there anything in this chest what's in here a flower some coal a pickaxe Torches. The pickaxe seems pretty broken. He must have been trying to break out of here, but as you guys know, we couldn't break anything back over at the vault, so he must have not been able to break himself out either. Funnel. What is that for? Maybe the funnel could somehow extend the bridge for us? I don't know. We'll just take it anyway. It seems awfully weird that, like, there's a funnel here. I feel like it could be used for something, guys. Maybe we could use it to somehow extend the bridge. What else is here? Bowls? Empty bowls by that. No food left. Bridge key! There's a bridge key. Could, could somehow the bridge key and the funnel be used to extend the bridge and get to Testeve? Yo, and there's a book here. For my loved by Sam. 
Sam's, could that have been the name of the guard, guys? Let's have a look at this book. For my loved. If anyone finds this, please tell my family I love them. It's been three days since I ran out of rations. The one that trapped me here said that he would refer with food unless his master Hades needed him for an emergency. At this point, I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm seeing spirits. No one is coming to take this corrupted mess I'm supposed to be guarding. Is he referring to Testive? Is that... Is the corrupted mess Testive? I mean, Testive is still covered in corruption from, well, when the corrupted scientist corrupted him over at her lab. What's so important about him anyways? Hopefully someone returns with some food. Just a little. And then... Nothing. Three days since I ran out of rations. If it's been three days, yeah. I don't think he made it out of this alive, guys. This is really sad. And this is written by Sam. I don't know, we'll keep this book. I don't know, for my love. This could have been our fault, so... Because we could have been the emergency that... Like, it says here, in the book here, guys, that... Unless Hades needed him for an emergency, and we could have been that emergency. Us entering into the corrupt dimension could have been that emergency, and it could have been our fault. In that case, I, it's my personal duty to, if we can somehow find Sam's loved ones, to return this book to, it, to them. Okay, that's... Uh, I feel so bad. I, this could have been our fault. But then again, it could have not been. I mean, this is the kind of evil stuff that evil EY stream and Hades are doing, and that's why we're putting an end to it, isn't it, scientists? That's why we're doing this, and to do this, we need to save Test Steve. And now we have the bridge key in the funnel, and hopefully, somehow we could use this to extend that bridge. Let's head back and see whether we could use this. There was like, it says here bridge extension, and there's a block here. Maybe if we put the bridge key here, and activate it, we could, maybe that would fix the bridge. I guess there's only one way to find out, guys, in three, two, one, pull the lever. The bridge, it's extended. Yo, we can get to Test Eve now! We can free Test Eve, but... No? You don't think it's a good idea to free Test Eve? Wait. Why not? Wait, scientists, have a sign. Why don't you think it's a good idea to save Test Steve? We've... 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 We've managed to extend the bridge. He is still... Evil. He's still evil. Oh, guys, right. He's still corrupted. When... 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 Remember you said that we, ha we were working with the scientists, but it wasn't the real scientists. Do you remember? And we were working with the fake scientist guys, which we thought was the real scientists, but it was actually a machine by Hades to try and trick us into corrupting Test Steve. And then he killed both me and the other scientist. And now he's trapped here, but as you said, he's still evil. He's still corrupted. So what are we going to do? How else are we going to... If we can't free him, but we need Test Eve back because we can't take on Hades alone. The more people, the stronger we are. Wait a minute. We had the uncorruption machine. Perhaps. I don't have the instructions with me. They're still in the normal dimension, but I've recorded the entire thing. In the, the entire part of me building the uncorruption machine. I could go back to that old video and rebuild the uncorruption machine here and remove the corrupt matter from Testive and we could save him and then we could let him free. And then we could try and take on Hades. Guys, that's what we're gonna do. Let me know if you have any better ideas in the comments down below after today's episode. But next episode, we're gonna go ahead and try and rebuild the removal of corrupt matter machine and try and save Testive and make him good once again, guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, if you are looking forward to the next episode, leave a like down below, make sure to subscribe. I will see you in the next one. And until then, guys, EY Stream, The Scientist, and, well, Corrupt to Test Steve out. Bye!